If you have one of the cameras listed on the screen, or if your camera supports a feature called Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP, then Vitamin D Video can help you set up your camera. If your camera does not support UPnP, please use the software that came with your camera in order to get it configured before installing the Vitamin D Video software. First step is to go to the Tools menu and select Add Camera. This displays the Camera Setup Assistant. First thing you do is set up Camera Type, which you leave as Network Camera. And in this case, I'm going to be setting up a Linksys camera, so I'm going to select Linksys from the manufacturer list. If your manufacturer does not appear in this list, just leave it at Other. Next it asks if you already have the camera running or if you have a new camera you want to set up, and in this case I have a new camera. So it's going to add some screens to help me get it going. Now the next thing you need to do is connect your camera to the router of your network. That's the box that's connected to the modem of your network. So the first thing you're going to do is take a network cable or an ethernet cable that looks like this and plug one end into the camera and the other end into your router. Now the order is important here that you do this before you plug it into the power. Now you plug one end of the power adapter into your camera and the other end into the wall. Then click Next. And when you do that, you will see a list of detected devices on the network. It may take a few moments for your camera to appear on the list. Now in this case, I see my camera. I have a Linksys camera, that's the model number, so it did appear. If your camera doesn't appear in this list, you can click on this link that will launch your browser and take you to the Vitamin D Video Reference Guide. Here's where I select which configuration I'm trying to set up. In this case, it's a Linksys camera. And when I click on it, I see steps describing what I'm walking through in this tutorial in written form. And then when I scroll down, I see troubleshooting tips for what happens if you do not see the camera in the list on that screen. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Vitamin D Video. In this case, I did find the camera, so I'm going to click Next. For the next step, you need to launch your browser and go to the configuration website of your camera. Most network cameras have a website that's dedicated to change the settings for your camera. Click the link in the middle of the screen to launch your browser and go directly to this page. Here you'll probably be asked your username and password. The Vitamin D Video Reference Guide also contains a list of default passwords and usernames. In the case of Linksys, it's admin and admin. So I enter them, click OK, and then I can switch back to Vitamin D Video application. The next step after clicking Next is to decide whether I want to hook up the camera wirelessly or to plug it in using a network cable into a port in the wall. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use it wirelessly over a Wi-Fi network. Now, setting up your camera to access your Wi-Fi network is similar to setting up your computer to access your Wi-Fi network. You may remember that when you set up your computer on your network, you had to enter the network name and some security information. It'll be the same way with your camera, so we'll need to go back to the configuration website. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to my setup page. And if it asks for your username and password again, you enter it here. And there's several things you can do on this page. What you're looking for is something that talks about network settings and things like SSID, which is simply the name of your network. Now there's a default here, so you're going to want to enter the name of your network here. And also, if you have your network, you need to give your camera the password and security settings to get on the network. So there should also be some kind of security setting that you can select. So for example, if you're set up with WPA2, 
you set it here. Shared key is just a fancy name for password, so you enter your password. And make sure to hit the apply button when you're done in order to save the changes. Now I'm going to go back to vitamin D video and make sure that the camera is working over the wireless network. So I'm going to disconnect the Ethernet cable from the camera and the router. Again, the order is important, that is to disconnect the Ethernet cable before disconnecting the power plug. Next I'm going to unplug the camera, wait a few seconds, and plug it back in again. This has the effect of rebooting the camera so that it tries to connect wirelessly when it's plugged in again. And if you have a Panasonic camera, it's important to switch the wired wireless switch back to wireless before you plug it back in. Now we're going to want to go back to the browser and make sure that we can still see video. And most camera configuration sites have a link something like this that says view video. I click on this and I should be able to see a live view of my camera. And sure enough there it is so it looks like the video is okay. So now I can switch back to vitamin D video. Next you need to enter a username and password so vitamin D video knows how to access your camera. Notice that this is not a new username and password, this is the same one that you use to set up your camera. And by the way, I would recommend that you change the default username and password for security purposes. On the configuration website of your camera, there's usually a page called administration or something similar where you can change your default username and password. So now the next step is to verify that all this has worked and now vitamin D video is going to try to get to your camera from the network and if it does the blue box will change to a video stream showing the same view of your camera that you saw on the website. There it is, that's good news. And now that you have this set up, you can click the next button and you can enter a location name. This is helpful if you have multiple cameras set up. So for example, I'm going to set this up in my front door. So I enter the name front door for my location. Now it asks me if I'm done or if I want to set up another camera and I am done. So I'm going to click finish. And now I'm returned to the monitor view where the camera is reconnected and I'm all good to go. Now all I have to do is unplug my camera and mount it where I want and plug it back in again. That's it for this tutorial. There's more information in the Vitamin D video reference guide which you can access from the help menu.